so we'll continue working and what I want to do is add some more details around here on the bottom for this one we're actually going to create another um, public hydro and another layer so we'll go geometry we'll create and it's bottom uh, maybe panels I don't know how we can call those ones okay we'll go to select Here, select again to new child and we'll go inside our stem that's um, top zero so this will be right here and we'll go next um, let me grab it the one thing remember save your work as you're going so you can come back to your stages okay next let's go create new segment because it will be small leaves we'll probably going to use um, again blades okay and you know, same things we can darker let's connect those ones okay yeah, now it's going around a lot of them so now we'll go inside our um hydra and let's switch same we have six leaves before well same zero radius leave everything same you know except maybe um, add a little bit angle to this so let's do maybe 15 degrees should be okay yeah. we can add same time variation till we're working so maybe 5 okay so right here Okay, we're gonna go ahead and um, just a position adjusting. So let's work on the left leaves if itself. Okay, we'll go ahead. Let's set 0 0.4, just shorter. That will work. Okay, we again, let's go change to user define and set maybe 0 0.1. Okay, and actually in some case we want copying almost what we had with other leaves as well. So we'll bring this down. Kind of very similar to other ones. hard to see at this point but they're there okay we'll click ok again I creating this bump mostly when we enable blending with the parent let's give it us a little bit nicer bump right there at that point okay and then next let's go enable blades you know, they kind of pop up quite a bit um, is there a point one maybe okay we'll see if we need it teeny tiny right here maybe a little bit more we'll see in a second well, maybe zero one yeah that's better okay let's go to modify leave and this is you know almost similar to what we had before so you can preview you don't need pay um, maybe have it too much oops Kind of details to this. 
but what I want to do is just create. Okay. Look like leaf. Okay, I'm just going to write this point. Maybe just bring. Okay, I think that will work very well right here. Let's click OK. Again, we can, in some case, you can actually just take this leaf, modify it, and put it down. But I'm just going to. They work a little bit. And uh, same as before, we'll just take and be sure our beginning and end kind of set on a zero to flatten them down so they look a little bit nicer. Okay, let's do same trapeze, maybe 15, 2 or 3, and so we'll add some kind of curving, but not much curving to this. Okay, let's click OK. And that look okay, and you know we can add a little bit more curving. Can you do? You can do this with X as well. You know, if you want, just click OK, and you can see we have it. This extra curving applied to leaves. Kind of like almost covering. The one thing I look closer and I believe it don't like this portion, they look too fat. So we'll go to um, rail. And if you have a hard time see what you're selecting, we can enable so we can see selections. And right here on the stem, what I want to do is go inside this section, add, and, and just shrink, extend from one side and again we'll take extend and maybe shrink from this side just slightly click OK and you notice how we shrink them a little bit so they become flatter from top and bottom they just look a little bit more natural without um, too much kind of poking out again right here this is our flower and we have it a very good details. Okay, cover on the bottom top. And we'll use this one for different kind of options. Okay, let's um, add now a couple more things. Let's go ahead and add maybe uh, leaves just on a plant, so we'll go right click, the segment, just call them leaf, okay, kind of getting here, child, so it will add them, and you know what, let's go inside. leave right here and we're going to modify this is all be just a leaf that's going to go to middle so let's make maybe uh, maybe one one and we'll have it plus minus two so it will give it us up to three okay we'll leave it as the um, same offset you know what maybe we don't want to go too far, so maybe 0 0.5, just the middle of this. Okay, right here angle, actually, I want to go very strong going up, so we'll go maybe 
75 maybe will work and let's go wrap around with the coil okay i think we're done setting up here so we can go inside the leaf and um let's work in the leaf so we'll enable blending and let's enable blades so we can see our leaves okay sometimes if leaves doesn't appear because it's based on random we can go inside the root and we'll do this more and click on a seed so we can randomize and preview them okay so you can see we have a two randomly created inside the leaf right now we'll go and um, let's make a maybe seven and three the here's things we have a variation but i don't like when it's go up on top so i want to reduce height as it's going top and it's related to the parent so we'll use this parent filter we'll just take and reduce and you notice when it's going up it's actually reducing height and when it's low it's longer so it's kind of help us control a little bit uh, we'll leave it 50. Let's add also prism to this one as well. 15, 5, and I want actually same thing. The higher we're going, I want the more straight. So we'll use a parent filter instead. The uh, it's on. So it's meaning if leave on the bottom, they will have it more trapezium applied. The higher they get, the more str uh, straight they will be. So it's kind of nicer this way. We leave it blending same. Um, let's work on a leaf a little bit. So I'm going to probably reduce a little bit. And right here. One, we need to go take this all the way kind of sharp end. Because if you look on the leaf, they have it very sharp. And right here, so we'll just bring maybe up. Let's add and see how a little bit thicker right here. I want to actually bring down so we can match. Okay, so we can kind of going in. And a little bit matching and right here. Kind of integrating. Okay, I think that will work well. Okay, we have it. Um, let's bring this one nicely wrapping and as well what we've done before we'll flatten up a little bit on this side okay and on top okay oops right here let's flatten on top right here as well so we'll just bring this to the zero you can see how we have it curve but nice flatten and maybe bring okay, let's click OK and we can also just overall so you can see it's look kind of nice leaves um of stem okay uh this is look okay and next what I want actually to do it is well, we apply the stem so I think that maybe look okay okay just on one thing I can see we have right in the middle that stem going okay let's do this way switch this to a little bit smaller effect and remove our weight yeah so we'll go okay I'll say I want have a nice connection but I don't want it on the leaves going right here so we'll go and take this to the zero so we have a nice smooth line going let's 
click OK. And we still have it with blending with parent. Nice connection on the bottom. Okay, so we apply that one. I think this look nice. A uh, couple of things we can always add. We can add a little bit more um, on the influence kind of effect. Make leaves look a little bit more distorted. And this is just to make kind of natural. It won't be effect that much, but just overall, so it make a little bit easy, nicer look. And until we speak about this, we can go in a stem and do maybe same, apply a little bit more right here as well. So you can see it's add, uh, maybe this one is a little bit too much, so let's put it to so just slightly bending something not absolutely straight. Okay, we'll go inside and maybe work a little bit trapezium because we're kind of bending and I want top will be straight. And if you notice the head sometimes a little bit bending. So this is what I'm trying to do. Create um, some bending effect and apply it a little bit straight in the head. So right here, let's go to local base as well. We'll maybe start using curl for this. And you know what, let's put it zero. One, or maybe two, yeah, let's two. Let's add randomness to this. And I want curl actually done in an X area so we'll just add one you can see how it's kind of nice bending um, except I do want this one keep it straight so we'll just take um, top portion and just rework a little bit okay So right here we have an interesting meaning. Again, this is will be random, but it's give it this nice effect kind of positioning to our flower. Okay, so this is one. We'll start working on different type of the hats maybe in the next tutorial to add more variation to this plant.